What's happening, guys? It's Jess at Fearless Fitness at fearlessfitnessomaha.com. Coming at you today, we're on day six. We just finished it of Mission Get Slim in 21 Days. All right? People are tearing it up at Fearless Fitness right now. We are smoking the gym. It's about 80 degrees here in Nebraska. Nebraska, it's running hot. People are sweating bullets. It's getting good. All right, today was a killer workout. I'm talking about killer. These people smoked it. I'm talking about women that I've never thought that they could do what they did. They did it today. All right, we did barbell walks and box jumps, 15 minutes straight, nonstop, just lifting heavy barbell over your head, walking for 50 yards and back, and then hitting up a lot of box jumps. It was great. A lot of women conquered their fears today of not of being fearful of just even jumping on a box or jumping on. Um, a different height, and they conquered it, and it was awesome. All right, we, then we ended up finishing the workout with tire sled drags going backwards, smoked up their legs. They were feeling good. They were feeling great. Um, it was awesome. They they definitely killed it, and I'm talking about killed it today. My 6:30 class was seriously off the chain. We had over 10 women here. They're just busting their butts, getting the work in, and loving every second of it. I think there was a dance party during the middle of it. It was great. It was happening. All right, guys. So today. Um, like I said, it's finished day eight, so tomorrow, Tuesday, will be day nine. It'll be your at-home workout, okay? So hopefully you guys are still riding, still on the bus, you know, still following that nutrition plan. Even though it sucks and your brain's probably still wanting carbs and they're wanting that sugar, stay strong, okay? Stay strong. All right, so today's, tomorrow's workout that you're going to do tomorrow is a 12-minute AMRAP, all right? You're going to do, it only consists of two exercises, okay? You got jumping jacks and you got burpees. All right, so if you guys look at this here, you got a 12-minute AMRAP, 35 jumping jacks, 50-meter sprint, 10 burpees, and 50-meter sprint again. So if you read that, it may be backwards, but that's all right. All right, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to start, you're going to do 30 jumping jacks, and I want to make sure that you get full range of motion with your arms all the way overhead and back down. I don't want to see your arms going like this, okay? No halves with the jumping jacks. Full range of motion, hands basically touch each other at the top and then back down. As soon as you get done with 35, 35 jumping jacks, you're going to sprint 50 meters, okay? After, once you get to 50 meters, you do 10 burpees all the way down, chest touches the deck, and then back up. You can either continue to run 50 meters the other way, or you can turn around and, do, and run 50 meters back to the starting line, do jumping jacks, and do it again. Okay, so you can either keep going your 50 meters, or you can... Just mark out two spots at 50 meters apart and just keep going back and forth. Okay, your choice, whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter to me. All right, but just make sure you get it in. Again, you're going for as many rounds as possible. So you want to try to get in as much work as you can. All right, so I know some of you have been complaining about burpees, about them tearing up your knees or where you're doing. So maybe bring a yoga mat or bring another mat um, with you, some cushion on your knees. So if you feel like you're dragging your knees as you come up, that can just help protect your knees. Or even if you wear knee pads like a volleyball player, you may look dumb, but in the end you won't have the scrapes and bruises like um, some of you have already. All right, so I know during this whole entire video, a lot of you are probably wondering what the crap is on top of her head. So for all those that don't know, in Omaha, um, there was a warrior dash, a 5K warrior dash that was had, um, that they had this weekend. And me and a bunch of my um, clients competed in it. It was awesome. It's the one of the best races that I've competed in just because it was fun. It wasn't just stair running, although it was a ton and ton of hill sprints, okay? So majority of the race, honestly, was running. So the obstacles really only took about five minutes total of the obstacles. And they weren't that hard, to be honest. Like, it was pretty easy. The hardest part was the hills, okay? So it's just even more evidence that we guys, we need to be hit, hitting up the hill sprints in our workout, okay? We can't be afraid of sprinting up those hills, all right? So look forward to seeing some hills, at Fearless Fitness in this coming week or next week. Uh, we're going to be hitting them hard. It's going to be good. All right, if you guys, again, if you have any questions about tomorrow's workout, it's going to be day nine. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know how you go. Maybe count how many rounds you get. We can get a little competition going. See how many rounds you can complete in 12 minutes and post it up on this wall um, under the comments or on my website. Okay, guys? Again, be a warrior, stay fearless, and get fit. Peace.